Another fabulous Fish Fry Friday. Just left the Allegheny Health Network studio. Enjoyed my time today from Mike Pintech, noon to three. More on this $1.3 trillion spending allowance to keep the government open tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. And don't forget, Tuesday night at 9 o'clock on the Disc Institute of Pittsburgh Newsline, Congressman Keith Rothfuss, who voted against it, will join me on Rock Pratt Tuesday night. But the big story, for those who love basketball, 93.7 The Fan, KDKA Radio, they're all talking about this time of year and now heading towards the Elite Eight. We had the first half of the Sweet 16 get settled last night. And coming up today, West Virginia and Villanova. That tips off at 727 on TBS. Big question is, can West Virginia's defense continue to be tough enough to get past the high-powered Wildcats of Villanova, especially when it comes from the three-point line? The Wildcats are amazing in all aspects of the game, especially scoring the average 87 points a game. Then you've got Clemson and Kansas. The Tigers allowed just 66 points per game and had a fantastic season blocking shots. And they don't turn the ball over. They don't get in foul trouble. That game, Clemson and Kansas, 7:07 tonight, CBS KDK TV 2. And then Syracuse and Duke. It's Bohan, Beheim versus Krzyzewski. Duke's big man on campus, Marvin Bagley, the third, 6'11 forward. He hit 22 in their 87-62 win over Rhode Island, and they just continue to win, folks. And when you got Coach K, you know it's going to be a clinic for the other team. And by the way, their defense has allowed teams to hit just 40% from the field. The Orangemen led the ACC in free throws, and they are great on the boards, and they have tremendous size, so that means they're going to get second and third attempts at scoring. Then you've got Texas, Te Texas Tech and Purdue at 9.57 tonight on TBS. Purdue needed every minute for their second round matchup to get a win, and they took Vince Edwards 20 points to victory against uh, their team, Butler, that they were victorious against. Now the big question is, can center Matt Harms play well enough against a much bigger Texas Tech squad, and Purdue continues to struggle because of Isaac Haas being out. Texas Tech, who shocked the tourney with an incredible win against Florida, provided they can play big in the spotlight. So, is it possible that the Boilermakers could move on to the Elite Eight. Jared Culver, Keenan Evans, along with Justin Gray, are all going to be key in that game tonight. And that game is Texas Tech and Purdue, the last game of the Sweet 16 tonight to see who moves on to the Elite Eight, 9.57 TBS. And, of course, tomorrow morning in sports, we'll have everything for you beginning at 5.15 on Rob Pratt Saturday, brought to you by Coons Quality Foods. And then we talk about it all on the Coons Market Black and Gold Sunday show at 11. Stop in for a great haddock fish sandwich, all Lent, all Lent and season long every Friday and Wednesdays at all nine of your neighborhood Coons Markets. How do you find the one nearest you, like the one here in Moon Township? You click on CoonsMarket.com. Good afternoon.